Welcome back, welcome back. I'm Danny Burke, and we've got another one in the series. Hooray! Google has changed how we get our information forever. It's helped connect every corner of the internet through one simple search bar. But you know what the best thing about Google is? It's given us the top 10 strangest Google autocompletes, specifically part eight. Coming in at number 10, I once saw a crackhead breastfeeding a rat. Oh boy, I couldn't ask for a stranger one to start this list off. Now I'm sure there's a story behind this somewhere out there on the internet, but uh, I'm not going to look for it. I just hope the rat is happy and, uh, and well fed. Next up at number 9, how do I cook my albino newborn baby? Um, every single video we have parents asking Google really weird questions about their baby. This one isn't even asking, should I cook my albino newborn baby? They've already decided yes to that. No, they're asking. How exactly? Well, I've heard the best way is to call child services and let them deal with the baby. Moving on to number eight. Why doesn't my boyfriend get his period? Um, now we've blurred out the other suggestions there because they're a little bit too <laughs> But yeah, the one you need to focus on is the millions of girlfriends searching to find out why their boyfriends aren't getting periods. That's worrying. I wonder if the boyfriends are Googling the same thing about themselves. People these days are getting more sex education from Google than from their own schools. Welcome to 2017. At number seven now, we're so close, we finish each other's sen sandwiches. Oh, is that the, uh, is that the new saying? Not sentences? Okay, cool, yeah, I can be modern. Um, well, me and my girlfriend, we're so close that we finish each other's sandwiches. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I would never share a sandwich. You can finish my sentences, babe, but leave my sandwiches out of it. Coming in at number six, how do I know if I'm dead? Yeah, dead. There are some other really great questions here. People want to know if they are dying, diabetic, drinking too much water, or even depressed. All great questions. But yeah, if you're Googling to know if you're dead or not, you're probably not dead. Your IQ might be though. Next up at number five, what do you do when you want to do a poo in an English country garden? If this was a search suggestion in England, it would still be pretty weird, but I could handle that. But I used Google Canada to find this. Are people all over the world wanting to know what to do if they find themselves needing to poo in an English country garden? Is English country garden pooing a hidden problem in today's society? I might Google that. Moving on to number four, my dog gave me the clap. <laughs> if you don't know what the clap is, it's a sexually transmitted disease. Yeah. Gone are the days where your dog would give you a ball or maybe a cuddle on the couch. These days, people are getting STDs from dogs. I think of all the things we've talked about so far, this might be the most disturbing. Oh no, wait. No, cooking, uh, cooking albino baby. Almost forgot about that one. Coming in at number three, people are Googling to find out about the headache in the front of their head, their eyes, morning headaches, and their pelvis. Yeah, pelvis as in the bone that your legs are attached to. Apparently, a lot of people have headaches there. Well, if you're Googling that kind of stuff, then uh, I wouldn't be surprised if your brain wasn't in your skull like everyone else. At number two, hey, why don't you learn to play with a lion's testicles? Oh, I was gonna say there's something you'll never hear, but you know what? You might hear that, guys. Apparently, it's something that a lot of people want to learn to play with. So hopefully, this has helped prepare you all for the day when your friend tells you they're going to a lion testicle tickling course. <laughs> you won't be quite as shocked, just a little bit. And finally at number one, how old do I have to be to sleep with my father legally? Um, <clears throat> uh, a million. Yeah, there you go. You have to be a million years old. Now, that will never happen. I've just stopped incest. Actually, what if that person ends up living to be a million? I don't want to be blamed for incest in a million years. That's one of the strangest sentences I've ever said in my life. Hmm. Very strange. But you know what guys, strange is the name of the game. That was some more strange Google autocompletes. I'd be lying if I told you there aren't many more out there. I will go and look for them and make a part nine if you guys find my comment down below and let me know. My name's Danny Burke. I'm gonna go and try and forget everything I've heard over the past few minutes, but I will see you all in the next video.